What's up everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood French Canadian and today I'm going to show you how to get the armor set I'm wearing, the Briars set. As well as the Marais Executioner Sword and the Briars Great Shield. You can get all of this from the same area, you need to defeat a boss, but it's fairly easy in my opinion, but it's an area that's easily missable. Like I never found it on my first playthrough, it's only when looking into Millicent's questline that I discovered this area and it's really really easy to just walk right past and never even see. I'll show you how to get to the Shaded Castle where you get this armor set. I'll show you how to get through it to get to the boss as quickly as possible. Uh, so you can get this really sweet armor set which is perfect for a confessor type of character, especially a confessor tank. So the Shaded Castle is in the Altus Plateau right here. If you went to the bridge in Iniquity and you went through the manor area, you might have seen it um, while passing on the bridge. But I'll show you how to get there. You want to start from Urtree Grazing Hill and then I'll show you the entire path, how to get there. It's pretty straightforward, but I'll still show you the path. So follow along if you're not sure. Alright, so once you get here, there will be a Site of Grace right here to the left, if ever you need it. Now this area has poison and also scarlet rot, so you want to bring along some uh, items so you can cure yourself. I only have some of uh, the scarlet rot ones, but yeah, you want to bring some items if you intend in playing in the swamp because it's disgusting. Once you take the Site of Grace, you can go down this ladder and we're going to go straight. And then we're going to take a left where the stairs are. And then we're gonna go to the right here and there should be an enemy here, you can kill him and then you wanna go up this ladder. There's also a quest item for Millicent you can get in here and I guess I'll show you guys since we're here already. The next side of Grace is going to be in front of us. You can drop down on this building and then jump over here and I missed the jump. <laughs> uh, can I even get back up there? Oh yeah. Take two, you want to jump up here. <laughs> Go to the right. On this broken down... Uh, building and there will be a side of grace right here. Once you take the side of grace you want to go straight and then take a left. There will be a ladder here. You want to take that up. Now the enemies here are pretty much zombies, uh, perfumer people and dogs and then crossbow guys. The guys with the um, like fire crossbow attacks which are annoying as hell and the rapiers. There's gonna be a few of these zombies hiding behind statues, so be careful when you go through the area. Like there's one right here. Okay, sure. I wanted to use the Briar Sword to show you guys to showcase it, but my character doesn't have the stats for it because you need strength and arcane to use it. And I don't have that right now. now you can take the ladder up if you want, there's a perfumer cookbook you can get. But we want to go out here. And we're gonna fight this clean rot. Knight, if I can avoid those. Come up here, there will be a few enemies. There's a crossbow guy up the stairs and there's an enemy right here. Like, you can see him, he's like, you can see his blade. <laughs> but uh, you can bypass past those, they're, they're easy. Once you go out here, I think there's two dogs and a, and a knight. And we're just going to quickly take care of it because it's annoying. Oh my god, these wall 
balls, dude. Okay, well, one down. Andrew's annoying dogs. Oh. You know, the guy I said don't worry about, he followed us upstairs, so probably kill him if you don't want to get the... get in the back. Alrighty. Once that's done, you want to take this elevator up. And it will take you to the boss fight. Now, if you guys followed Patch's questline, after the Volcano Manor, he will be located right here. He'll be sitting down here and he will give you an item to give to Lady Tanith, which is the, the girl at the Volcano Manor. So this is the boss fight room. As you can see, there's a beautiful painting of Melania up here. So this fight is pretty straightforward. He has some like mid to long range attacks with his blade. I don't know if you guys have fought the uh, belt bearing hunter. Uh, he has the exact same moveset. It's not really a hard fight. The only problem is these stupid tables, like, you really want to roll into them to destroy them because you can get stuck on them and then you will die and it sucks. But it's a pretty easy boss fight. He will drop you the briar sword and the shield. Also, I didn't capture myself fighting the boss. I'm an idiot. I completely forgot. But as I said, it's really not that hard. So I don't think you guys will have a problem with it. Once you've defeated him, come back to round table hold. Talk to the finger reader Enya here and go and receive equipment of champions and you'll be able to purchase the full set right here. Now, if you want to find the item for Millicent's questline, we have to go a bit of a different way. It's almost the same way, but we can't backtrack because of the way we went down. We can't jump back up, which sucks. But I will show you how to go there. After taking this ladder, instead of jumping down here, we want to go straight forward. There's a few guys that can jump at you, and there's a knight to fight here. See the rot knight. But her magic is gonna take care of that, and the prosthetic arm, which you need to bring back to Millicent, will be right in here. So that's it guys, that's how you get this armor set. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I think it's pretty cool. It's not exactly my style, but I really love the cape and the sword looks really, really cool. There is a helmet with this, but it's um, pretty fugly like most of the helmets in this game. This place heavily ties in with Melania, her lore and the lore behind the Valkyries and their prosthetics. So it's really, really cool. So thank you so much for watching. If you want more Elden Ring videos, there is plenty more on my channel. So have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll see you all very soon.